God damn it, these guys. Wow, look at this guy's range. They're sniping me with rocket launchers here. I don't know why I didn't just do this to begin with. Ah, oh, that would be why. That seems like a really bad idea. Let's save it here, just so we never have to go back. Alright, I think we're good. Let us, let us head up here. Now we kind of have to deal with these guys. Because there's a lot of them. There's even a fucking car over there. Like, seriously, the entire Korean military wants me. And it's a fucking bloody mystery why. Wow, okay, nine health. Call calling it close. Nope, you don't run from the, the, the shotgun of death. Actually, we, could, we should probably try and go into this building. Oh, they have like rifle grenades and everything. This, this shit I'm not really using. And even this grenade launcher. Nah, we're still good. We'll just climb up this infinite staircase with speed. Infinite staircase. Actually, the shotgun is a better cho choice for close quarters. Pro tip for Mike. Oh, nobody's apparently manning the helm here. How do I computers? Vulture 190 Raptor, do you read me? Over. Roger, Raptor, this is Niner. Send your traffic. You gotta be bloody kidding me. Raptor, what's the problem? Niner, we've got a situation. Get your VTOL down here now! Uh, that's a negative, Raptor. Admiral Morrison has ordered all VTOLs RTV. I have injured men on board. Niner, you've got to move those men to another VTOL! This is an order from the Pentagon! And I got the head of the task force on my back. So unless I get a direct order from Iron, that's a no-go. Shit! I'm sorry, Raptor. Good luck out there. Niner, this is, uh, Vulture 2-4. I got it covered. Roger that. Heading back to the Constitution. Over and out. O'Neill, where the fuck have you been? It's a long story! I almost died on that bridge. He was ordered to evac, Psycho. He's taking a big risk to help you here. Now get your head together and move back to the container. You must protect the objective at all costs. Come on, man, forget about it! I would have been there if I knew. Now let's take these bastards down! Alright, you're up. Okay, now let's get you some serious firepower. You see that crash C-18 in the airstrip? I got word that plane was carrying one of our latest experimental weapons. The PAX. Short-range plasma accumulator cannon. I've uploaded the access code to your suit, so go get it. Alright, let's go get that sucker. Looks like the Koreans won't be around here any longer. Oh god. I kinda wanna take a vehicle with me. There we go, we got him. Oh, we can drive there now in style. Maximum speed! Oh god damn it. Well I have a road here. Not really a road, I know, but oh, fuck you. I need to leave. Fuck, I'm gonna have to go back to the entrance, aren't I? Fuck this place. I think that's another car there. Oh, there's, there's, there's more cars here. We're good. We got plenty of vehicles. 
This one's a little damaged though, but we should be good. It should tear us all the way there. looking for me. Oh god. I'm just trying to grenade these fuckers. I still have not used a smoke grenade. Let's try it out. Go throw it over there. Smoke grenades. Give me Oh no, it's a flashbang! Okay, um... I don't think I ever had a fucking- oh, there's a smoke grenade. Hey, can we fucking- can I just have a moment here? Okay, now we're gonna try the smoke grenade. Hey, it's smoke. Hooray, we got to see it after all. Alright. And welcome to the Plasma Accumulator Cannon. Now Fuck the shotgun. This warps physics. That's what this gun does. Alright. Uh, unlimited, unlimited ammo with high power, slow recharge, and short range. Alright, who do I use this on? Wow, fuck, there's a lot of things. Wow. Wow, so much for that gun. Nah, that's okay, we're good. Then we have the Goss. I suck. Wow, okay, you know, let's let's fucking hit that thing. Wow, okay. Well, it was like a torpedo, but the thing just raped my ass, so I didn't get a chance to really use it. And the minute I get this gun, now all of a sudden everything kills me. Joking. Fuck this place. I'm gonna hide over here. It's clearly the best place for cover. Oh wait, I don't need that. There we go. Not exactly my my finer moment. Uh I don't know who that fucker is, but Apparently you got a bullseye. I'm being slowed down by shit too. Oh, I got him. Oh, I didn't have to do a thing. Sorry. That, that thing kind of spooked me. Honestly, it's like armor mode is you're just asking to die. What the fuck am I doing? Let me use this gun. I kind of handled them. I mean, it's got unlimited, like, range. Or some shit. Did I kill it? I would take that as a yes. Maybe I'll piss off mom. And uh, mom will come after me. Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to leave. What the fuck am I doing? I wonder, can I put a scope on this? I'm gonna drive this truck into them. Yeah, it's how to drive a tanker into a big alien thing. I will show them who's the boss. You're almost there, Psycho. We've got this thing covered. 
I was completely unaware of the fact that I had to actually kill stuff to get out of there. My bad. Motherfucker. Did I just kill myself with my own car? <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna fucking... There we go. Hello. Alright. The fuck is going on? Okay, you got his attention. Now hit him with everything you got. Uh, it's my frame rate is just totally dropping this this fucking FPS eater. And now I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The best solution I've realized is just to kind of run around the speed mode. There we go. Now to fucking get away from that thing. How it should have been done wasn't the first time I did it. O'Neill, about that code blue incident. Fuck it, man, really. You may be an asshole, but sometimes even an asshole can be right. Great job, Psycho. Really great job. Oh, thank you, Bob. You too, O'Neill. Get the container. We've got a window open all the way to the USS Constitution. Copy that, man. Loud and clear. Psycho, get yourself to the container. I'm coming in. The EMP to fuck out of this thing. Now, just to, there's actually an Easter egg in this game where if you collect all the frogs, this final container part, it looks like a frog. You can YouTube it if you're really interested. This Crisis Warhead frog. All right, mate. This it. What's so special about this thing anyway? She didn't sell this gun. Keep poked on Tyrrell, cut all out! We'll take her back to Korea for reverse engineering. I dealt with the pilots. Get us out of here!
This is Sierra 2, last VTOL on the island, setting a course for the Constitution. We're coming home. Are you alright, mate? <coughs> Did you disarm the warhead? <laughs> That's my nomad. Always putting the mission first. Now, let's get you out of here. And that's the end of Crisis Warhead. Bit of a short game. Better than Crisis, the first Crisis uh, in a lot of ways. Not a huge amount of ways, but you know, it's still good in my opinion. Fixed a lot of the stuff that, like that really bad boss fight and the walking around and crap. We just got rid of that all, so that's that's good. Um, so some things to take into account. Um, just to finish all the story, that thing that didn't self-destruct, um... No, I don't think there's been any fucking mention of it in the latter Crisis games. I never did fi finish Crisis 2 and I haven't even fucking looked at Crisis 3. But, you know, they start it and I don't even know what the fuck that... I, I think they just kind of threw it out the window, I'm not sure what the hell they did. Uh, so, you know, there's that. Uh, I don't really get the... Honestly, I don't get the whole story in the background. Nomad was disabling a warhead or something. I don't understand it. To be honest, I fucking don't know. Um, that didn't really pay attention to the story, you know me. Uh, but it's more like... It, it, to me, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, so this game in total... Um, not exactly bug-free, especially during the cutscenes. It bugs out a lot. Uh, or when it's trying to initialize a cutscene, I notice. It just, like, spawns it in front of me or... Uh, Apparently Jester's shoulder blades go through his arms or something, because he's apparently that buff. Did I say Jester? I meant Psycho. Fuck. Whatever. Fuck you guys. Stop, stop criticizing my... Nah, you can criticize me all you want. I don't really give a fuck. Um, so yeah, so overall... No, it's a fun game. I, I had fun. And this is like, as I said, this is the last Crisis game in this style, because the rest of them you just go on to either power mode or stealth mode. So you either it's basically cloak and everything else. 
it's kind of retarded. So they took it from down, from four modes to just two, which is really retarded, actually. Because um, I, I, I have fun... I have the fun of switching between the modes and just going like, okay, now I need to strength build this obstacle. Now I need to cloak. Now I need to speed so I go really fast in front of this guy and chuck him in the face. Okay, now I go with armor because there's a lot of guys there. You know, it's it's that decision making on the fly that makes you feel like a total certified badass and you're using the most out of, I guess, the technology that this game throws at you, you know? That's why that's why I think it's good. Um, that's why I don't really care much for the any sequels that they've made here of this, so, you know, I would recommend this. Apparently this, this runs with Sekiram or something, so uh, I don't know if that goes into your decision-making process here, but apparently I didn't I didn't have any trouble installing a Steam version, but it apparently still has Sekiram, so well, fuck if I know. So that's, that's not that's not cool at all. I'm not happy about that, but whatever. What you gotta do? Just know that, you know, if you pick it up for like two bucks or five bucks or whatever, so it's a good buy. It's it's fun. There's a lot of exploration and shit you can do. So I don't know. Overall, I enjoy it a lot. And you know, I, I guess I guess the the other problem comes to this game. Uh, well, I did enjoy it, but one of the problems that comes to this game is it is it is very much a tech demo because uh, the graphical quality, even to six years later, is like uh, absolutely astonishing. Uh, but just know that what you're playing is actually just a tech demo. Like it's they don't really have a competent team of, you know, people who write stories or, uh, you know, do gameplay and stuff like that. It's just kind of like, I, I'm guessing just a bunch of geeks that kind of just decide uh, what the fuck they're going to do, basically. Like, they're going to like, oh, let's have a level of snow because we want to show off the snow graphical settings or let's go to a jungle or let's go to a swamp. Well, mostly it's jungle anyways, but, you know, you, you get my point. Uh, so that's that's basically, you know, kind of what this game is. So, and I like how at the end we saw the big boss, so. Yeah, I, I, I definitely enjoyed it. That was good shit. And like, development babies. Wow, okay, so they had development babies. So it was, um, you know, it was interesting, but I, we're done with Crisis. Uh, there are no other games I, I feel I need to do playthroughs of, so this is the last one. I don't, I don't give a flying fuck about the fucking other ones. Because they're, to me, they're boring. Because they're basically just console ports going to the PC, which is a huge step back from what this did. So I think it's just looping through the, the credits at this point. So let me just exit this. So uh, once again, hope you enjoyed, and uh, that's the end of Crisis Forever. Goodbye, guys.